Okay. Once you've uh, unzipped it, you can transfer it over using your FTP program. I'm using Flash FXP. Now, CoinOps 6 Lite is actually a little bit too big for a stock hard drive, 4.66 gigabytes. So, what I'm going to do is transfer transfer it over to the emus folder, but I'm going to transfer everything except for some of the videos. There's 700 videos on there, so 700 games in it. So. Just making a folder, calling it CoinOp 65, Light Release 5. And I'm going to transfer everything except for the videos folder. And that should take about 10 minutes. maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, I'll be right back when that's done okay it took about 10 minutes or so okay now we're probably need to remove a couple hundred megabytes of games your Xbox which is on the right over here go into ROMs sort it by size and take, oh, I hate to take the metal slugs and stuff like that out because those are such fun games. But, um, but you can kind of cherry pick a few if you want. You really do need uh, a couple hundred megabytes. All right, there, I've got 325, so I'm just going to delete them. Boom. So that's enough. I've removed enough. I don't need to remove any more. Now I'll come over and add the videos folder. It's going to take about four or five minutes. Now, if you um, if you if you have a hard modded Xbox or a T-soft Xbox, something like that, you don't have to remove anything. CoinOps Lite will fit perfectly on it. If you have a soft modded Xbox, you've got game exploits on there. You want to keep those. Um, that's a useful backdoor into your Xbox, and you know it's much better to have you know 695 games and be able to get back into your Xbox rather than you know rather than to remove that back door so that's just my take on it anyway I'll get back when this is done okay that took about I don't know, 15 minutes maybe everything's transferred over except for I don't know four or five games I forget exact, forget exact number of games that I didn't transfer over so let's go to the Xbox and check it out Okay, here we are at the Xbox, and you can see down there near the bottom, there's only 177 megabytes left. So, I'm just going to give it a soft boot. There we go, with the right and left triggers in the back and the black button. And then if I go down to emulators, CoinOps 6 is there, hit A. And there we go. Let me back up a second here. So it will immediately boot up. You can see you have 700 games. And you can scroll through them pretty quick. And you're ready to go. Now we did remove a couple of the games. So one of the things that you can do is hit the start button settings to enable the advanced settings just hit A and then back and then you hit the start button again and you can go down to scan all your games and then hit A and now it's going to scan your games this will take a few minutes won't take long and it will remove uh, the games from the list, the ones that we removed. So we'll go back and check and the ones that, that aren't there, it'll 
We'll take them off the list, so it won't be 700. It'll be like 695. This won't take long, maybe five minutes. Maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to just pause it, pause the video, and get back when it's done. Okay, that's it. So it rescanned the games, and then the um, screensaver just comes up, which is really cool. You see all the. So actually, I took out nine games, which you can see right there. But that's pretty awesome. 690 games on a, and I was a little conservative. I mean, there's still 100 megabytes left, but 690 games on uh, on a stock Xbox hard drive. This kind of interface is pretty awesome.